Well, did CBS use teen heartthrob Justin Bieber to take an ugly swing at the Tea Party just five weeks ahead of the midterm elections? That's the question being raised today following this week's season premiere of the popular show CSI. In the episode, Bieber plays a young domestic terrorist attending, quote, right-wing political events and planning a bombing. Here's a clip. Are you ready for a new America? Where hard work pays off. This country's been hijacked by profiteers. Big banks, Wall Street, giant corporations. They have a license to steal at our expense. Their credit cards keep us in debt. That's it. Their mortgages leverage the future of our families. Well, Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Lars Larson is a syndicated radio host as well. All right, panel, so can I just say, I, I may be an expert on this, because I, I will bet, unlike this panel, have actually attended a Justin Bieber concert. I mean within the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Uh, with my niece Emily. Uh, no, I was not kidnapped. There he is. And now I can officially tell you, Leslie and Lars, I'm a believer. But Bieber uh. may have been used. He may have been used by CBS, Lars, to make a point that's anti Tea Party. This is how Alessandra San uh, Stanley of the New York Times put it that Bieber played a domestic terrorist with Tea Party leanings, even though the episode made no direct reference to the Tea Party. But it seemed clear if you yep. watched it that they were talking about like an exaggerated version of anti-government types. So, Lars, add a line. Never underestimate the power of Hollywood scriptwriters to demonize average Americans. And in this case, for a moment there, the leader of that Tea Party, or the Tea Party lookalike group on uh, CSI, uh, I thought he was channeling uh, Barack Obama for all that corporation bashing. You know, that sounded more like our president rather than a Tea Party. You go to the Tea Parties, you see the Tea Party events. I've been to them myself. I've spoken to them myself. They're clean cut, all American people who do believe in paying their taxes, who do believe in their individual liberties, and they're not leading young men to go out and blow things up, including up, including blowing up the funeral of a police officer. It's absurd, and it's designed to, to demonize the Tea Parties in a way that the Obama administration and the Democrats in Congress have not been able to do with the truth. But already, already Leslie, people are saying that this is basically propaganda, that this is anti-Tea Party propaganda, and they, are, they have used one of the most popular stars uh, certainly among teenage girls in the world, never mind the country, to try to make their point. Little did Bieber know. <laughs> well, I live in Hollywood, and I have been on, uh, when I did acting, I was on the final uh, season pr uh, finale of NYPD Blue. And let me tell you this, Justin Bieber had his script way in advance to learn his lines. He wasn't being used. He was, though. He actually was being used for something else called ratings and money. <laughs> this is the season premiere, and they want everybody who loves Justin Bieber to turn to tune in and hope that those young people, especially these young girls, will become CSI believers like they become Bieber believers believers like you, Megan, and keep watching the well, show. That's what it's about. It's not about politics. It's about money, but, Lars. This is Hollywood. No, Lars, if no, you watch the no, show, Leslie, if, you, if you watch it, there's a lot of anti-government sentiment that's sort of yep. taken to the extreme. Here's another clip. This, guys, is the, is the soundbite number two that I want to play. Take a look to listen to Bieber here. Brother Ralph was exercising his right to drive his own car down a public road his crime driving without a license ralph is no criminal he's a decent man he took me and my brother when we didn't have anyone and now the government took him away from us why because ralph dared to live as a new american you can see what happens when we speak truth to power the profiteers send in their mercenaries Wait, and then there's before, I want to get to you guys, but there was actually another one. This is call for set number three. Watch this. Where's your gun, your vest, your badge? You off work or something? Well, no, I only wear my vest when I'm in the field. And you can't really have your gun on in this room. And I'm not a cop, so I don't have a badge. I just have an ID. You still represent the authority. Everything I hate. Just like you probably hate me. 
So Lars, isn't an exaggerated version of some of the things that the Tea Party stands for? Taxed enough already? No. They are anti-big government. Um, you know, they're are they trying to take it, sort of a, a, a kernel and expanding it to the extreme? No, what they're doing is they're taking a cartoonish, unrealistic view of the Tea Party. The Tea Party doesn't go out and say, we're going to blow up the government. The Tea Party says, we're going to change the government in the way that we've always changed governments in this country, through choosing different leaders. And I disagree with Leslie in saying that this was just about ratings. You want to get ratings? Rip a story from the headlines. Have this be a young Muslim jihadi who decides to go out and blow things up, as young they Muslim jihadis have a tendency week. to do. <laughs> Well, they do that I, nearly know, every week what, on television. I think Hollywood is afraid of defaming Muslims. You know that because the radical Muslims who blow things up have been taken out of any number of Hollywood scripts over the years. And we pointed out the fact is that would have generated far more public interest than this young, sweet looking kid who's somehow corrupted by the evil Tea Party lookalike. Go ahead, Leslie. I just want to point out that uh, one, one right wing uh, commentator, Andrew Breitbart, who, who uh, has got some websites, calls this subliminal propagandist messages that this is sort of they're, they're trying right. to sort of get in your head without you even knowing it go ahead well you know first of all Lars there's a TV show the cell a film Independence Day and in, in, on law and order I see uh, you know Muslims portrayed as a terrorist all, all the time I'm a law and order fan but I, I will tell you when when you talk about uh, you know subliminal messages and things I'm sorry I'm having a Dan Quayle Murphy Brown moment here Megan <laughs> uh, this is television this is make-believe and 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 art has been imitating life and then going and coloring out of the lines since Adam and Eve uh, this is nothing more than what every show on every network does in this capacity, a drama like CSI, which is they want to get but, ratings, they want to make money, and Bieber they want us rates. to talk about it, which we're doing. Bieber rates. Leslie, hey, listen, you're, you're when you come back the next time, Leslie, you've got to bring us a clip of that final uh, NYPD Blue episode. we got to see that. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, no, oh, yes. no, no. It has to happen. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to make oh, it happen, no. viewers. Yeah, I promise. All right, Leslie and Lars, There's thanks like so much. There's like three lines. <laughs> thanks, Megan.